Come on, Devin, we're gonna be late for dinner. All right, Dad, I'm so excited. Uh, oof. Dad, are, are you okay? I, uh, I think it's my, my heart. I, oh! Dad! 911, what's your emergency? I need an ambulance to 25 West Street right now. Hang in there for me. I'll be right back. Now's a better time than ever. It's the heart I've been working on for Dad. I don't know if it's ready yet, but I don't really have a choice now. Everybody move! We've got a very sick patient here! Get out of the way! Come on! Oh, oh. oh man, this does not look good. Dr. Coulson, is he okay? Devin, uh, no, your father's not okay. His heart is failing. What? What on earth is that thing? It's a robotic heart. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. Listen, Devin, we don't have time for these practical little jokes and homemade projects, okay? Your father's extremely sick. <coughs> See, and I need to tend to him right now. <sighs> oh no. Devin, just get out of here, okay? No, please, I can't leave my dad now. You don't have a choice. I said go. I can't believe that doctor didn't listen to me. Just because I'm not a doctor doesn't mean I don't know what's good for him. I need to finish this robot heart now. Dad's running out of time, so I need to work as fast as I possibly can. All right, so I'll put this in here and... All right, computer, simulate the human body. Ah! Oh no! Devin, what are you doing here? Professor Richards! I know this is gonna work. We just gotta put the fire out, that's all. What are you talking about? The robot heart! I need it to work now! We need to get out of this building right now. There's a fire happening. But the heart! Come on, let's move. Devin, what on earth is going on with you right now? Look, Professor, I just need to work on this heart as fast as I possibly can. My dad just got taken to the hospital and doesn't have much time left. Science takes time, and you shouldn't be doing experiments on your own like this. I just said I don't have the time to wait. Devin, you just need to calm down. No, I need to help my dad. Well, the fire department was able to put out the fire and save the lab. Well, at least that's some good news. You know, Devin, you can't come and go as you please in the school lab. It's extremely dangerous. Look, I know, okay? My dad is the only family that I have. I won't lose him. What have I always said? Science takes time. You can't just rush into it because bad things will happen. You're right, Professor. I'm sorry. You know, Devin, you're one of the smartest people that I've ever met. I know how much your father means to you. So I'm gonna help you build this robot heart. Well, thank you so much, Professor. I won't let you down. Well, I'm glad my dad's doing at least a little bit better. I just really want to see him. I miss him so much. Ah, uh, Steven, what are you doing here? Well, I heard about your dumb robot heart exploding the school lab. That's none of your business. Just leave me alone, okay? Do you really think that a robot heart is gonna save your father? Because I find that highly unlikely. I know it's gonna save him, Steven. Well, from the looks of it, looks as though your heart's nothing but garbage. Just like your dad's actual heart. Don't you dare talk about my dad like that. I'm at least gonna make something that will actually work and actually help people. Unlike you, what have you made? Whatever. You're just stupid, Devin. You're never gonna help your dad, so just give up. Just get out of my way, Steven. I don't have time for this. Can't wait to see you crash and burn, Devin. It's gonna be so good. Dr. Coulson, how's he doing? Well, Devin, he's not doing great. Unfortunately, he is in a coma now. What? He's in a coma? His condition started deteriorating last night. Oh, no, Dad. Dad, Dad, can you hear me? I love you so much, and I'm trying everything I can. Just hold on a little bit longer, please. <gasps> Dad? Oh my gosh, he woke up. Nurses, I need nurses in here, Sad. <gasps> Devin, visiting hours are officially over right now. You need to go. Dad, I promise I'm gonna have that new heart made for you. It'll be done soon, I swear. Get out of here, Devin. All right, here we go. Attempt number three. Let's give it a shot. All right, the system is initializing and the test has begun. like it failed again. Uh, what's wrong with this thing? Just can't keep messing it up. Oh no, is someone failing yet again? Uh, Steven, not now. Oh yes now, Devin the failure, the loser. Can't even save his own dad. Steven, this is not the time for this right now. Please leave the lab. Yeah, whatever. He's a worthless nobody. So what went wrong, professor? So from looking at the results of the test, I think there's something else that we need. Something we need? What do you mean? 
Well, the robotic heart seems to be working fine, but it's the material that's not working. I think we need a metal called marconium. Marconium? I've never even heard of that. I'm not surprised. It's extremely rare, and it's located very, very far away. Well, we're gonna have to go and get it. I wish that were so, but it's pretty impossible to do that. Professor, you told me nothing's impossible. Only this metal exists on one island on this planet, and the island is under the control of an extremely wealthy billionaire named Ron Worthington. He's got the place heavily guarded, so it's not like we can get there even if we tried. Well, you know what? None of that matters. We have to go to that island and finish this heart to save my dad. Well, that metal's on an island. I'm gonna need a boat to get there. I'm so sorry about this. I'll return it when I'm done, I promise. It's time to go get that metal and save my dad. All right, this is the place. Time to go search for that metal. I keep my head down and I can't get caught. Hmm, now where could this Marconium be? Bravo 4, west side of the island is clear, over. Professor Richards did say this place was guarded. I've gotta keep moving. This is it, this is Marconium. It's exactly like the professor said. I need to grab as much of this as I can. Breeze, put your hands in the air. Ah, oh no. Thought you'd just come on the island and steal, huh? Look, please, just, just let me go. Oh no, I don't think so. You're coming with me. Come on, please let me out of here. I don't have time to be here. Oh, you are not going anywhere. Do you know who I am? You must be Mr. Worthington, aren't you? And if you know who I am, you know that I own this island and everything on it. Yes, yes, I know all that. What you don't know is that you've been arrested for invading private property. The government is on their way here to arrest you now. I'm really sorry, but I had to get some of that metal. It's for my dad. I'm trying to build him a new heart. You're trying to build your father a heart? Yeah, he's really not doing so well, and I don't know how much time we have left. I just really don't want to lose him. Well, take it from me. As a man who lost his father, one of the worst feelings in the world. Really? You lost your dad? I always put my work and business ahead of my relationships. I just wish I could talk to my dad one last time. Really sorry. Well, there's a lot of people after Marconium. You are using it for quite a good cause. I'll have my men call the police and drop charges on you. Do you mean it? You're actually trying to do something good, and I don't really want to be the one to stop that. But I'll make you a deal. Yeah, sure, anything. What is it? If this robot heart works, I want you to put my company's name on it, and I'll start funding you in the project. That way, we'll sell robot hearts to people all around the world. Do we have a deal? Absolutely, we have a deal. That sounds fantastic. And you don't have a whole lot of time left. Why don't you take my private jet back? It'll get you back home much quicker than a boat. Thank you so much, Mr. Worthington. I won't let you down, I promise. I still can't believe you actually got your hands on some Marconium. No one's been able to do that. It's all thanks to Mr. Worthington. He turned out to be actually a really nice guy. Well, with this little change, I think the heart is ready for a test. All right, let's get this over with. Three, two, one, initiate. Analyzing. Working. Devin, it's really working. Nothing's catching on fire. No failures. I think we did it. This is incredible. You just changed the world of science and medicine. Not only are we going to save my dad, but we can save so many people. You know, I'm extremely proud of you. I don't know how I would have been able to do this without all of your help. Together, we made something incredible happen, Devin. We made an actual working robotic heart. I got to go tell Dr. Coulson the good news. Dr. Coulson. Dr. Coulson, I need to talk. It's really important. Your father's condition's unchanged, okay? You need to leave me alone. I'm very busy. That's the best news I could have heard. What do you want? The robotic heart I made, doctor. It works, and it's ready. You are joking yet again with this stupid little project of yours. It's not gonna work. It does work, doctor. Me and Professor Richards have tested it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. This robot heart of yours is nothing but a stupid dream for you to get rich, and it's not going to work. Now get lost and let the real doctors handle this, and accept the fact that your father will be gone soon. Just get over it and get real. Man, what am I going to do now? Dr. Coulson isn't listening to me. At this rate, my dad's done for. There's someone I would like you to meet. Hi, you must be Devin. My name is Dr. Leonard. It's really nice to meet you. So, what's this all about? 
Well, I've worked with Professor Richards a lot in the past, and him and I have remained pretty close. That's right. Once we finished the heart, I sent word over to him, and he's found it fascinating. Really? You did? Not only am I fascinated to see this robotic heart, I want to see it in action. I want to see if we can make it work. Really? You want to try testing it out? I do, and I would love to do the surgery and help your father. I just need to make sure that it's working fine, and I need to look over all the test results first, and then uh, I think I can make this happen. This is so great! Absolutely! We'll test it right now! Whoa, all the numbers are coming back incredible for this thing. You've actually made a robotic heart. I figured you'd be impressed, Dr. Leonard. Way more than impressed. And just from looking at all this, I have a feeling this will work. I'm so happy that Dr. Leonard's gonna help my dad. Finally, he'll be all better. Finally, he'll be all better. Ugh, look at you. You're so stupid. Steven, get lost. You know, people around school are talking about how you actually made the heart work. It failed and all of this stuff is a lie you made up, isn't it? No, none of it's a lie. We've done so many tests and after quite some time, it actually does work. And now my dad's finally gonna be saved. Really? You actually made a robot heart? This is stupid. This isn't fair. You don't deserve this. What? I don't deserve to save my dad? You don't deserve to be famous for this. You know what will happen to you now. You're the first person to build a successful robot heart. You're going to become super mega rich and you don't deserve it. That's what you're concerned about? <sighs> Steven, you just don't get it. I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to save my dad and help a ton of other people in the process. You don't care about any of that stuff? What? You're such a liar. The only reason why I'm going to school is so I can become rich and famous and get a good job. Well, then you need to get your priorities straight, Steven. Now, if you don't mind, I'm finally going to go save my dad. Just get lost already. All right, uh, did it work? The surgery went extremely successful. The only thing we have to do now is wait. We have to wait? We have to see if his body will accept this new heart. All right. Come on, Dad. Pull through. Oh no! Dad! Dad, no! Wait, hold on a second. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, uh, Devin? Dad! Dad, you're okay!